Alzheimer is a pretty scary disease that affects about half of the people that make it to age 85. But it also can occur much younger than that, and a lot of people age 65 start to see the earliest signs of it. Now, there are a lot of ways that we approach the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. The use of drugs really doesn't work very well. We know that there's very limited benefit you get from that. Plus, there are side effects from it, so it's a real problem. And then we look at, at diet and exercise and stress reduction and sleep, all the lifestyle things that are important, and staying engaged socially and mentally in activities every day makes a big difference in delaying the onset or perhaps even preventing it. But we're always looking for new and better ways to do that. And there have been some breakthroughs in the last several months that are really impressive that involve the use of light therapy. That's right. Using light, infrared light therapy in the near-infrared spectrum is something that can do something to change Alzheimer's disease, to slow down its progression, or maybe even reverse it. There have been two ways that have been described that it can do this. One is that we know that we can resuscitate any cell uh, that's metabolically challenged and has a limit in the amount of ATP, which is the energy that makes our cells work. If we can boost that energy or stop the process of its destruction, we can make those cells start to function normally. Because all diseases are associated with a decrease in the mitochondria, which are those energy packets in our cells that create the energy that we need to have to be able to make our, our bodies work. So, what infrared light does, in general, is it increases circulation, it increases the, the stimulation uh, of uh, the mitochondria to be able to make more ATP by stimulating an enzyme called cytochrome C oxidase. It reduces inflammation. It stimulates stem cells to come in and do their job to, to produce healing. Uh, and it can do some other af interesting aspects uh, that you might not think of, such as increased lymphatic drainage and, of course, relieve pain. So this new technology is amazing, and I say new, it's been around for about 30 years, hasn't made it into the mainstream, and that's why I call it new. So there's information now to show that our nerve cells can be reached by using sufficient power, using infrared light onto the brain itself. So if we shine that light on the brain and, and stimulate those mitochondria that may not be functioning so well, in Alzheimer's as well as other kinds of neurological diseases such as MS or ALS or traumatic brain injuries, etc. Sometimes we can get some recoveries that are rather impressive. The other way that near infrared light can work is kind of interesting, and these studies have only been done in rats, but there's no reason to think they probably don't work in humans as well. And that's if you stimulate a rat's bone marrow anywhere, like over the sternum or over the back or the hips or wherever you want, what happens is if that rat has Alzheimer's disease or is getting Alzheimer's disease, we'll stimulate mesenchymal stem cells from the bone marrow, which will travel to the brain and actually stop the progression or improve function, at least in rats. But because there isn't any downside to it in the use of humans, and there's extensive literature on tens of thousands of articles, it's a safe thing to do on people who have any neurological disease. It's just that you can't promise that you're going to get, get an effect because there's not that much data there, but what other, op what other options do we have? So we're now looking at approaches to managing Alzheimer's disease that are new and exciting, and it shouldn't be too, too surprising, really, because light, you know, without light, we don't have any, light, any life on Earth at all. And there are a wide range of uh, different wavelengths of light that do different things in the body. Now that we're studying infrared light and we can apply it to the use of Alzheimer's disease, I think we've come up with something that's a, a, a major breakthrough in the management of this and other neurological diseases. So keep alert, and if you want to learn more about uh, this technology on drsabuta.com, you can go to the search box and put infrared light therapy and learn about uh, how light works in more detail.